Hey there, it's Joy coming to you from Chicago. I'm here with the Association of Healthcare Journalists, and I thought I'd show you a little bit of what we've been doing for the last few days. Do you ever wonder what it's like to work in the ER? Everybody clear is most of the Everybody clear? You're touching the bed. Leaning against the bed. Oh. Okay. Feet. Press. Press. Mini Med School at the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University gave journalists that experience. We visited the simulation center where very lifelike patients gave us a real medical challenge. And let me tell you, CPR is exhausting. We even got the experience of labor and delivery using a simulator that can bring a normal birth, breech birth, cord wrapped around the neck, just about anything you might see during childbirth. And what makes it interesting is that a live person's at the controls, making the patient's vitals fluctuate, even giving that patient a voice. And the exercise is all videotaped. This makes for a better study of effective communication. And finally, you've heard of the bionic woman? We met her. She's Amanda, and she's from Tennessee. This is the Center for Bionic Medicine, home of targeted muscle procedure TMR. It rewires an amputee's nerves, which lets them control their prosthesis through thoughts or neural impulses. She lost her arm in a car crash a couple of years ago, but you can see how well her new one works. Researchers here are also using electrical currents to interface with magnetic fields in the brain. This helps patients learn to move once again after a stroke. It's groundbreaking stuff, and it's fun. For now, cheers from Chicago and Health Journalism 2010.